Do you want to know why Lisbon, Portugal is simply fabulous? There certainly isn't a shortage of captivating ways to spend your days in Lisbon. There's so much to experience, in fact, you might have a difficult time creating your to-do list. So we've done it for you. Devar the city's iconic pastries at the famous Pastis de Bellum, then hang out with locals on the riverfront plaza of MAAT Museum, Lisbon's newest art institution. After meandering around the city's hidden corners and lesser-known neighborhood hangouts, marvel at the city from the perch of Sao George Castle. We have listed the top 10 best places, which are the reason that this place is beautiful. Let's dive into the video and make sure you watch entire video to know interesting things about Lisbon, Portugal. 1. Ajuda National Palace This 19th century palace was once the royal residence of Don Luis I when he was king of Portugal. It is now used as a museum that you need tickets to access. The wildly opulent space houses a fantastic collection of decorative art, including chandeliers, marble statues, porcelain, tapestries, and much more. Some of the rooms are also used as gallery spaces for contemporary art exhibits. The property is pretty spectacular and overwhelming in its grandeur. There's weight to every room considering how much there is to look at, whether it's an old cabinet filled with porcelain cups or massive gold-framed portraits. If you're into royal collections, this is likely the best you'll find in all of Portugal. 2. Tram 28 If you're in search of Bellum's cultural and culinary adventures, you can simply hop on the sleek No. 15 tram from the city center to get around. But it's the No. 28 that every visitor should weave into their itinerary. These vintage remodel Adu streetcars, wooden and painted yellow, are a throwback to another era. In peak season, you could be waiting for an hour to board one of these beauties. But that retro feel, perched on a bench as the tram clatters its way through the city's narrow streets and blares its horn, is priceless. 3. LX Factory LX Factory is an industrial complex from the 19th century that's now home to a bunch of cool shops, restaurants, bars, and office spaces. Located in the far west of the city, in the neighborhood of Alcantara, it offers a look into the more modern side of Lisbon. If you're into checking out cool of the moment venues, it's worth heading here to take a break from the city's more historic sites, walk around, and pop in and out of the various businesses that call the area home. 4. Time Out Market Lisboa Time Out magazine has curated this upbeat food hall in Case du Sauter, which successfully merges the worlds of culinary highbrow and lowbrow. Set within the old-school Mercado de Ribeira, where locals buy their meat and fish, it's one of the best places in Lisbon to while away the day, eating and drinking from more than 50 different concepts. Start with charcuterie from the more than a century-old brand Mantegaria Silva and end with Italian-style ice cream packed into a wafer biscuit cone from Santini. One of the best reasons to visit is to sample the cuisine from some of Portugal's most famous chefs, including Miguel Castro e Silva, Marlene Vieira, Miguel Lafin, and Henrique S. Pessoa. 5. Museum of Art, Architecture and Technology, MAAT The main reason to visit the Museum of Art, Architecture and Technology, a modern cross-cultural hub that brings together visual arts, urban affairs, technology, and science, is the setting. British architect Amanda Levitt's undulating building is covered in white ceramic tiles and capped with a rooftop terrace, while exhibition spaces can also be found in the newly reimagined Central Power Station. The permanent collection and the rotating exhibitions run the gamut, from pop art to ceramics to wood sculptures. There's even an archival collection about the history of Portuguese electricity. It's also home to what is now the most impressive collection of contemporary Portuguese art. 6. Calouste Gulbenkian Museum Located in the northern edge of Lisbon, Museu Calouste Gulbenkian feels like an art-filled oasis that travelers rarely visit. Tranquil gardens surround a brutalist building that houses world-class pieces spanning 5,000 years of history. Think Egyptian sculptures, John Singer Sargent paintings, and Art Nouveau jewelry. The museum added sculptures around the garden, and it's great to split the visit up between the indoor galleries with a stroll around the grounds. 7. Prava do Comercio Lisbon certainly doesn't lack for stunning plazas, but perhaps the most important, the grandest of them all is Prava do Comercio. Before the earthquake of 1755, it was here where one found the royal palace. Today, with its sunflower yellow buildings, arcades, and commanding statue of Dom José I, the aura is just as majestic. Envisioned as a gateway to the new world, the vibrant transportation hub has a ferry terminal on one side 
and trams whizzing by on the other, so it's easy to weave into packed itineraries. This is an ideal place to kick off any Lisbon adventure. It doesn't take long to wander through the square, but one immediately feels its powerful personality and thrilling history. 8. We Hate Tourism Tours Walk in the Real City This three-and-a-half-hour walking tour gives travelers an off-the-beaten glimpse of the city. The guides have an easy-breezy approach that make it seem like you're being shown around by a friend, expect a good mix of historical, cultural, and even political info peppered with personal storytelling. Overall, it's best for people who would rather learn about Lisbon's modern-day narrative rather than its history or past. You get some of that history of course, but this tour is meant to show you parts of the city that don't often land on the mainstream tourist routes, even if you're only a couple of blocks away. 9. Sao George Castle Sao George Castle, a hilltop castle, is one of Lisbon's most emblematic scenes. Before the Moors built the fortress in the mid-11th century, the Visigoths settled here. Later, after Dom Afonso Henriques became Portugal's first king in 1147, it became the domain of royalty and enjoyed a long time playing host to lavish soirees and visiting dignitaries. This castle certainly has a museum feel, what with its clever camera obscura offering 360-degree views of Lisbon in real time, archaeological site spanning three diverse periods, and ruins of the former royal palace. It's the view, though, that's the star. Peering out at the city's abundance of red rooftops and the Tagus River beyond is one of Lisbon's most thrilling rituals. 10. Café A Brasileira A bronze statue of Fernando Pessoa greets visitors at Café A Brasileira. The beloved poet frequented this joint to sip absinthe. One of Lisbon's oldest and perhaps most famous cafés, this circa 1905 institution was, in its heyday, a grand place for writers and intellectuals to convene. Today it's a bit of a tourist trap, but don't let that deter you. The Art Deco backdrop, complete with dark wood, splashes of brass, mirrors, and a black and white floor, is like a piece of Portugal's heritage, reborn. That's for the video, let us know in the comments below which place you like the most and which one you are visiting this year. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.